How you doing, everybody? Uh, my name is uh, Gerald Davis. Uh, I'm also a fellow Piscean, and I know that this year, uh, 2012, has been a very, very exciting year for everyone. Um, I was watching, uh, you know, I, I take the time and I look at it, all the information that's out there regarding our astrological sign, and I know that for a lot of Pisces as myself, you're going through a what I call a spiritual awakening. Uh, I made a decision at the beginning of this year to uh, chronicle my life as I embrace my spiritual walk. Um, I realized that through information that's put out there on, on the net, YouTube, gotta love YouTube, uh, that the feelings that I was feeling, I wasn't the only one. And so I decided to go ahead and put this video out, uh, to more or less shed some light on what you may be feeling, and just more or less put it out there that you're not crazy. You're not. No. As a Pisces, a true Pisces, your, your whole position on this planet is more or less to have a position of love, unconditional love, God's love. Your position is to more or less serve as a beacon for all mankind. And what I mean by that is, if you have you noticed that this year, uh, a lot of your habits, and I'll explain them in this video, has more or less been redefined. It's like your life has been placed on a table, just dumped out, and you're looking at your life. You're looking at the things that caused fear, the things that you did not know you had a underlining. Uh, strength that you're tapping into as well as you're learning to really embrace how you communicate with everyone now what I mean being a beacon you are you're a reference point um, think about it this way it's, it's 2012 the 31st of May now, think back to 2009, whatever you were doing 2009, think back. It was okay, had a little bit of turmoil there, but you were still trend. you were still going about your life. But, right around summertime of 2010, you notice that your life took a major shift or something happened in your life that was brought to your attention and you didn't like it you didn't like it at all however it would not be until October of 2011 when you actually decided to do something about it now through those reference points you were kinda of looking at yourself trying to figure out why you were doing what you were doing, why you were where you were, where you were, and the people that actually directly were in your life, maybe in regards to your profession, your personal life, and goals and aspirations. A lot of Pisceans went through relationship issues and really decided to liberate themselves in October of 2011. October of 2011 more or less felt like a death. You realized that you could not go forth any longer and you needed to vindicate yourself. So you had to make a decision and maybe if you were in a relationship that was your reference point where you had to leave, you had to part. The reason this was happening 
was that was the beginning of when your spirit started to awaken. I bet for a good what from 2009, eh, you 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 were upset, but definitely in 2000 summer 2010, you were really really emotional until October of 2011. Through that reference point. You felt every emotion that was within yourself. The reason that was happening, you know how the media more or less talks about the laws of attraction. Well, it really, it's true to a degree, depending on how you look at it. So I'll, I'll, I'll be real brief with that and I'm going to leave it alone. So I'll, I'll say this. We'll use relationships as an example. If your life was not being lived positively. Nine times out of ten, the person that you invested your time with, they also were the same way. It's because it's because you attracted them or that situation in your life. But it was not until October of 2011 where you could not be in more or less you had a you were being in denial for all that period of time whole however it was more or less you were kind of like holding on to you was trying to hold on to a belief system but it was not serving you in a purpose you realized that at that time the existence that you had did not serve you this is when a decision had to be made. October 2011, a lot of people made that decision for a higher purpose. A lot of people just was at that time really started to become introverted and started to tap into your spiritual realm. That's why they say Pisceans have a, a psychic ability, uh, intuition, it's true. It's very, very true. And see, that's uh, the reason it's obtained. And the only way that it's actually obtained is through purity. So, as many have already known, by choosing to use uh, anything that can distract or escape your, 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 men, your mental state, it more or less puts a veil over you and you're not able to, to tap into your, your true self. Now, with that being said, usually, I would say a lot of people in October did a total overhaul in their lives. Total overhaul. May have been uh, changing professions, uh, changing uh, their whole mental state, state of who they were. Now, with that being said, you started to tap into your personal strength and a lot of us were more or less surprised of how strong we truly were which means you went, you probably went through a position of looking at the people that were in your life how they served you how you served them uh, you, you more or less started to look at your self-worth and what was being reciprocated because as a as a as a as a Piscean as I mentioned before we're all about love we're givers by nature we get more out of giving of ourselves because that's truly in our nature and we get frustrated when it's not you know when it's not received back and it kind of will tap into a position of uh, being very passive a lot of times we get taken advantage of because we're looked at as naive or we wear our hearts on our sleeves. That is not the case for 2012. I guarantee you, some of you have probably made a list and checked it twice and said, hey, you know, I'm going to always care about you. I'm going to always love you. However, um, I need more. And until you change and you probably talked them blue in the face and sent every means of trying to get them to understand how you feel. 
and some reciprocate that and they do change because they, they 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 value you and then there are some that unfortunately don't get it well look y'all I've come to learn that you can't save everybody actually you can't save no one you can only be responsible for yourself also I've noticed as a Piscean I've, I've had a uh, attraction for the color lavender this year I'm like okay uh, why you know it's all about your personal uh, synchronicity of yourself your soul your true self Pisceans are drawn to that color because lavender represents angelic that's what the divine angels wore they wore a lavender sash representing regalness authority have you noticed that now the position that you have with your walk has greatly heightened um, you don't have a you don't you have a sense of urgency now like as if you're trying to you realize that you have a lot to do in a short amount of time to do it well that's going to happen you just got to stay true to yourself take a reserved position and allow your life to reveal your true destiny stick to your spiritual walk now real quickly you have to also keep in mind you're going to run into some situations that you may have not uh, took notice of you you may be running through some hardships maybe financially emotionally socially now on a social note you may have noticed that you have you're starting to get a lot of attention that you normally wouldn't have you people are starting to take notice of you they're starting to listen to what you have to say and it was not like that before you could we could more or less hide in the cracks you know and kind of like a rabbit darkness head out of the hole and then coming back for safety we're not we're not worried about that no more because you're letting your spiritual guide lead you trust your instinct your life is being revamped for a reason because that's your responsibility as being a, a human being on this planet that's why you're tapping into your spiritual true self always follow your spirit now with that being said you're gonna be you're gonna be tested you're gonna have you're gonna have people that are not going to accept your change because they're used to the person they've come accustomed to so if you used to procrastinate all the time or or not hold up your end of the bargain and now that you are more or less stepping into your own well give it to your higher power as I mentioned this is a year of personal growth and revelation to who you are destined to be and the people that are going to be with you will also change because they realize that is what's required to your self-worth so you're not crazy don't scratch your head and say what's going on this is all happening for a reason this is your spiritual synchronicity and if you get if you really allow yourself to be in tune with it you'll even start to notice the things that you took for granted like even the music you hear they'll kind of have a flow and you know hey there's my favorite song again why am I hearing this why is this you know it's like there are messages within your day you'll notice things that it would be like a red flag it's it's your spirit letting you know that you're doing what you need to do or what you have not done lastly before I go your biggest test is going to be whatever you value the most in your life whatever may have been taken away or there had been some strain now you're starting to see that those walls are starting to fall down it's like you're being heard or whatever what was hidden is being put in focus do not put the cart in front of the horse don't do it allow your spirit to guide you and anything that is of value will also be treasured lastly before I go I've come to realize you have 
two sets of people that will come into Pisces life. One is the ones that will teach you the lessons that you did not learn in the beginning. And also, the other are the ones that are going to walk with you through your life, your legacy. Your higher power, minus Jesus Christ, does not do anything just because. He doesn't. Everything is for a reason. The people you come in contact with, as well as the people that you let go. Stay true to yourself. Stay blessed. And have a good day.